The time has come. The models are getting runway ready, our fashion forward audience is about to take their seat, and our designers are tuning in from all across the globe to find out who will win the world's largest sustainable fashion competition, the Redress Design Award. getting ready. There's just makeup and hair products everywhere. With the majority of in-person events being cancelled in Hong Kong over the past year and a half, it's particularly exciting this evening to be able to hold the grand final in front of an audience of over 200 fashion lovers and insiders from across the city. Wow! Our finalists, unfortunately, can't be with us tonight, so we will come to them. I am calling some of the designers over Zoom just to show them what's happening behind the scenes. Hello, guys! Hello! <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Are you excited? Nervous! <laughs> Very nervous. nervous. So I'm backstage now. All of your designs are here and ready for the models to put on. Taylor called us and show us the backstage of the grand final show. Yeah, it's all happening! It was very excited to saw all those amazing models and those makeup and styling artists preparing for this show. That's the stage. It is massive. It was nice to have her there taking us through the venue. <laughs> There's lots of people here, so I'm so excited. So many people are going to see your designs. Just hope everything goes yeah. good. I just remember feeling very, very nervous because at that point, everything is out of my hands. I can't really do anything but just to wait and see what happened. Bye! Welcome to the Redress Design Award 2021 Grand Final Show. The people you will see on stage have outshone hundreds of competitors to be here, and it's thrilling to see their waste-reducing collections brought to life. Before we start, I'm going to share a message from someone who couldn't be here with us tonight, all the way from London, Christina Dean. Welcome to the grand final of the world's largest sustainable fashion design competition, where bold, brave and talented designers are about to battle it out. I'm really gutted not to be with you in person today in Hong Kong due to the pandemic to watch this new vision for fashion roll onto the runway. We truly salute these designers who have the courage and the conviction to dare to dream for a better fashion industry. And we hope that by watching this show and being part of this movement, that you too will be inspired about the positive power of fashion. So let's meet the Redress Design Award 2021 finalists and let the competition begin. Seeing the digital model, I wasn't expecting it to be that impactful and it was futuristic. I've never seen anything like that before. Definitely Lily's collection was so striking and the way that she played with color and texture and shape was just so interesting. As I was watching my collection, everything was looking so good. All of the models looked incredible. The way they were styled was unbelievable. I was really blown away. It was like almost a magical experience. That 
is the first time I saw my piece being worn by beautiful models. It was so emotional to see that they are full of inclusion and diversity. But I really think that compared to others, my pieces is quite relatively simple. So I really don't know how would the judges pick. Every collection that came out, I was just so blown away because before I've only seen sketches. I couldn't pick a favorite. I thought that I'm gonna have one and I just couldn't. For the favorite pieces is a vest. It is hard to say why. I can only say that when I put it on, I feel safe and from the feeling of being a child. I love it. When my models came out, I feel like, wow, my design is exposed in international conditions and I feel so amazing. I actually watched on my own uh, some of my family members back in Lithuania as well watching the live. My mom loved the idea behind my collection. She said it was very feminine and romantic and beautiful. When it was time for my models to walk out, I think I held my breath. I'm kind of a control freak and I want to make sure everything is okay. And I can't do anything, so I'm just like holding my breath, watching it. The last, it was the last collection that came out. The wait was worth it. It was beautiful. The judges' runway scores are now combined with their judging presentation scores to decide on the first and second prize winners. For the sixth year running, our runner-up prize is an exciting mentorship with global sustainability expert, co-founder of Fashion Revolution and co-founder of Aesthetica, Orsola de Castro. Orsola cannot be here with us tonight to present this prize, but she shared a short video message for the winner. Thank you so much for inviting me again to be a judge. This is my favorite competition and some of my best mentoring experiences have been with the runner-up prize. So it's really amazing to have this opportunity again. I can't wait to start this journey with you. 
Thank you, Orsola. Here in my hand, I have the name of the winner of the runner-up prize for the 2021 Redress Design Award. And the winner is... Jin Pei Wen. Congratulations! When they called my name, I was really surprised. That was an emotional moment. It is really a precious opportunity to learn from Ursula. Can't wait to start the exciting journey with her. And now finally, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. The Redress Design Award 2021 first prize winner will join VF's Timberland team to collaborate on a sustainable design project. What a great show and uh, well done everyone. The Redress Design Award 2021 first prize with Timberland goes to... Jessica Chang. Congratulations! When they called my name, I honestly didn't think it was me. I was very caught off guard. I started wondering if there's another Jessica. And then I'm like, oh no, there's, I'm the only Jessica. The collection that Jessica has brought together has been very, very powerful. And we could see that we could inspire more consumers out there to just join the movement and move the world forward. I'm so happy that Timberland and the judges saw what I wanted to express through my collection. It's not something over the top. It's not something that immediately draws your eyes toward this collection, but I know all the effort that I put into it. I want this to be something that's marketable, realistic, and I do feel that's what sustainability is all about. Jessica's collection was just amazing. It was utilitarian, right on brand, and we could see this being commercialized moving forward. Yes, absolutely, this is the right one for Timlin. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm very excited to see what they have for me and what I can bring for them. It's hard to describe how exciting it is to actually be here again in person and experience the atmosphere, not only from the designers, but from the audience, that real kind of anticipation. Honestly, as the most important fashion show in the world, well done to absolutely everyone. It was a delight. So much inspiration coming down the runway. It makes me feel very hopeful that we're moving along on the right track to take care of our environment. Very exciting, loved being here. So now, are you ready to get redressed and do your bit to transform the fashion industry into something more meaningful, beautiful, and equitable? Because now's the time to act. It's never been a better time to put consumers right in the driver's seat to make this change happen. And you can do your bit on a personal level from shopping better, such as supporting sustainable designers, sustainable collections, or wearing secondhand clothing, of course and keeping your clothes in use for as long as possible. And collectively, these actions signal strong intent to the industry to help it on its transformational journey. So together, let's cut waste out of fashion forever.